Hey everyone, welcome back to Text You Drama English YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of Android emulators for Windows. Whether you are a gamer, a developer, or just someone who loves Android apps, these emulators will let you run them seamlessly on your PC. So, let's get started. First up, we have Bluestex, known for speed and performance. Bluestex is one of the most popular Android emulators. It supports Android 9 to 13 and offers game specific customizations. Plus, it's free to use. Here you can play up to 2 million pre Android games on a system that have minimum 4GB of RAM. That means any processor with 4GB of RAM can handle Bluestex easily. Next, we have LD Player. It is personally my favorite emulator. This emulator is perfect for low end computers as it doesn't consume too much CPU or GPU. It supports Android 9, 10, and 11, making it a great choice for most apps. To run LD Player, you must have any x86 or 64 bit Intel or AMD processor and at the least 4GB of RAM, but 8GB of RAM is ideal for heavy apps. Moving on. We have Nox Player. This emulator supports Windows, Android, and iOS. It offers a pre basic plan and is known for its smooth performance and exclusive customization options. If you want to try Nox Player, then you must have 1.5 GB of RAM for a single instance, and 4 GB of RAM is recommended for multiple instances. And the great option is Memu. This emulator is known for its higher performance and compatibility with a wide range of Android apps. It's free to use and offers a smooth user experience. To run Memo Player smoothly, you need to have a minimum 4GB of RAM or more. Next, we have Jenny Motion. This emulator is popular among developers for its advanced feature and support for Windows, Linux, and Mac. It offers a 30 day free trial and is great for testing apps. To run the simulator, you must have Intel x86 or 64-bit 6th generation or AMD Ryzen equivalent processor and minimum 16GB of RAM. Next, we have Android Studio Emulator. This emulator is perfect for developers as it comes with the Android Studio Suite and offers a wide range of features for app testing and development. You can use the latest Android features without having an Android device in real. To run the simulator, you must have 8GB of RAM, but 16GB of RAM is recommended and a second generation Intel or newer or AMD CPU with support for a Windows hypervisor framework. Moving on, we have Orcon. This emulator allows you to run Android apps on Chrome browser, making it a unique option for those who prefer using Chrome. To run the simulator, you must have a standard PC with modern operating systems like Windows 10 or 11, a decent processor like Intel i3 or equivalent, and at least 8GB of RAM and a moderate graphics card should be sufficient to run their website and access their digital content without significant issues. Next, we have Anti-OS. This emulator offers a complete Android experience on your PC and supports a wide range of apps and games. Now let's come to the supported hardware list. You need at least a dual core AMD or Intel CPU with virtualization support, 3GB of RAM, 10GB of pre disk space, and a GPU with OpenGL 2.1. Compatible with operating systems includes Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and Windows 8.1, Ubuntu 10.04 Plus, and Mac OS X 10.8 Plus. Finally, we have Dolphin Emulator. While primary known for its GameCube and Y emulation, Dolphin also supports Android apps, making it a versatile choice. To run this emulator, you will need a 64-bit operating system so like Windows 10 or higher, Mac OS 10.15 or higher, or a modern Linux distribution, a CPU with SSE2 support, and a relatively modern graphics card capable to support Direct 3D 11 or OpenGL 4.4 with minimum 2GB of RAM. So, those are the top Android emulators for Windows in 2025. Each of these emulators has its own unique features and advantages. So it's all about finding the one 
that best suits your needs. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.